Today, you guys, we're gonna be buying everything inside of that vending machine right behind me. So let's get to it. She's hungry this morning, though. Yeah, she is hungry this morning. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what actually is inside of this. Oh! By the way, guys, we are super, super dumb. You know, we always tell you guys we're truthful. What up, big guy? Look, look, look! There's two of them. Next cast on the glide. Oh, he just flew off. Yeah, jumped. No, hey, watch the ducks. Watch the ducks. McDonald's. Look at those oh my fish. God, bro. Look at those fish. Guys, there's something wicked large. Got him. We are back at the vending machine, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? You know, it's a roll of the dice every time you come here. It's like playing roulette at the casino. And Jack's, we know where Jack came from last come night. Come on, it's not even funny at this point. <laughs> we know where Jack no came from. No questions asked, this is the leftovers. Oh, I didn't even sleep last night. You look like you should be in a music video right I now. know, dude, trust me, trust me, dude. <laughs> so now, at first you gotta go to, you know, where, and then you come here and you get yourself some fish. It's hot in here. All right, Give yourself yeah, a fan, hot. give yourself a fan hot. with it. Damn. It's nice, it's nice with it, all right? We're gonna go see if the vending machine is loaded up. We've been here like four or five times, and each time we've been- It hasn't been stocked. It hasn't been stocked. It's literally just been shiners and worms, so we haven't gone and looked at it yet. Hopefully we're gonna have something awesome. If not, shiners and worms, and we're going fishing. You know, Chris and I are on a serious fishing buzz, like just- We're tearing it up. Yeah, and the goal, the plan is, if we uh, have no fish inside here, we are gonna do a little live bait versus our fishing mystery box, and we're gonna see which is gonna win, but who knows? Usually there's fish in here, but, you know, you never know what you're gonna get. It's like, it's like going to the casino, am I right? It's like going to the casino, it's luck of the draw. Sometimes you walk out of the casino like I just went. Listen, I don't I don't encourage gambling, but I just went with Bridge Fisher. You guys all know Bridge Fisher, shout out Bridge Fisher. Went up, won some money playing blackjack, you know, so you know where I took that money. Right here. Right here, right to the vending machine. So it's, it's luck of the draw. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and that's what we're about to go find out of the thing. So if we lose, and there's nothing inside of it, and it's only, it's only you know, dispensing some shiners or some worms, we're gonna go fishing, because you know, life's gonna throw you curveballs. It's all about how you swing. It's all about how you hit them, you know? Yeah. You're not always gonna get a fastball down the middle and hit a home run. You might get a change up. You might get a, a you know, knuckleball. Just crush it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> all right, so the game plan is, Get whatever's in the vending machine, buy as many as we can with the $20 we have. If it's just shiners, we're going to the lake. We're gonna try to catch a monster. We're doing a big series of every time we go out fishing, we're trying to catch a five to 10 pound bass and put them in the pond. We wanna grow like a 15 disgustingly big giant bass in the pond. That would be epic to have in there. So that's the goal, catch monsters. Thank you for that, Jack. It is hot in here actually. It's toasty. Let's hit the live fish running machine. Let's roll. Rock on, baby. Dang, nice fit. You like that? Yeah, nice fit. We might have to go into the Bass Pro and get a, and get ourselves a boat, bass boat. Yeah, actually, guys, we've been really considering it since like we're really like bass fishing a lot, and we, you know, we're on, we're so limited to certain spots. We might be getting a boat for the bass. Lake. Let us know by dropping a like on this video if you guys think we should get a boat for bassing. Look at that thing, amazing. Now it says that there's nothing really here. But you really never know with this machine, not to be honest with you. So we're gonna have to check them in the car. What's the date? What's Let the me fifth? see. It's the fifth, bro. The fifth, Tuesday. Last service date yesterday, baby. That's a great sign. Let's put it in. A great sign. Let's put that money in though. We're going shiners all the way. Let's see what happens. Let's see what comes out. Take my money. I'll tell you what though, this machine, they used to not take my money. Today, she loves the money. <laughs> She does love the money today, huh? All right, let's do it. Ready? Yes, sir. Shiners. Whoa! Right, that was a quick to draw. That was quick on the draw. There's our first tote. I'll take it. Let's get another one. Let's go. Ooh. She eats so good, dude. Usually she's hungry. Dude, I'm surprised she's not taking our money and just stealing it, like, usually. She's hungry this morning, though. Yeah, she is hungry this morning. <laughs> she's hungry. Four bucks. Come on! Oh, this dollar must be... It's a bad it's dollar. It's too thick. It's a counterfeit dollar. <gasps> it's a counterfeit dollar. Bro, we got this from you know where, that's why. Yes. All right, let's try this one. Look at that. Wow. She eats that one. She's, All right. She was like that one single. Let's rip it. All right, shine it, it's bangs. Beautiful. Bang, bang. It's beautiful. But box, or tote number two. Oh, look at this one. Made in Canada. Shout out to all my Canadians, eh? Nice. We're just gonna get as many as we can, eh? Yeah. You're running through that dough like nothing, dude. Let me see that dough. Look at that. What do we have left? 10 bucks. 
I'll Let take that. Let it roll. We get as many as we can, bro. Let it roll. Okay, we ate our money. And we got a dollar back. Sweet. So we just lost four, three dollars. It just ate three of our dollars and gave us a dollar back. So, you know, I guess we're paying interest. Yeah. Which is fine. Sometimes you gotta. I did my job. All right, I'm gonna do mine. This is actually might be. Uh, Let's go from a distance. Look at this thing. I don't know how much money we're gonna have left for another tote. It didn't like oh. that. It doesn't like that dollar. I don't know why. You know, it's used to eating quarters right now. I think she's starting to get a little full. Yeah, she, she she's had that. She's had a good breakfast so far. What are we at? Three. All right, four bucks. Here we go. All right, come on, have another one. There we go. I don't know why it ate our other three dollars for no reason. Another tote in the bag. Shout out to my Canadians. Hey, yeah. Shout out to Canada. 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 Shout out to Canada. Canada. We got our totes. Now we don't know exactly what's inside because you never know what's actually inside. So we're gonna pop these open right here. Just to make sure it's not lying to us because you never know with this machine. The, tower, the leaning tower of totes. Such a beautiful sight to see. It is. Let's see. Let's see what actually is inside of this one. Let's check You're on gonna it. use my shirt? Okay, cool. Ready? I guess right. we have to put All our right. seatbelt on when we're stationary. It's gotta be careful, you know? Gotta be careful. Are you happy now? You know, sometimes, sometimes this car just wants to yell at you for no reason. Could be, it could be something good, dude. What? Shiners. Okay. All right. So that one was okay, confirmed. Shiners. Yeah. You still never know, dude. No. You still don't know. You don't know, but you. What a sound. It's kind of gross. It's kind of disgusting. <laughs> all right, we're gonna try one more tote here. We're gonna see what we're working with. I mean, in my opinion, we hit all shiners, so that's probably what it's gonna be. Yeah, straight shiners. Three straight, in this one? Yeah, three again. Okay. Straight shiners all the way down, baby. You know what that means. We need bigger fish Mystery in box life. versus live bait. Let's rock and roll. We finally made it. Now we're hunting. We are hunting the five to 10 pounder, I'm telling you right ten. now. Um, ten. I did a little war drum trade, by the way. Whenever you're fishing, you gotta make sure you have the long sleeve fish guy performance tee on because it protects you from the sun. It's got SPF in it, whatever it's called. Protects you from the sun, very key. Got your fish guy hat on. I'm fish guy out. And I'm using the Fish Guy Mystery Box baits today because they're better than live bait. So Jack's gonna use the live bait, I'm gonna use the lures. Let's see who's gonna win catching fish battle and size wise. I got my scale, we're gonna weigh every single fish we catch to see who can catch the bigger fish. But I have a, I have a good feeling about today. I don't know what it is. I think I don't these know what people it is. are arguing. Yeah, I think they are arguing. There's, we got a fight going on I think down they're there. fully arguing. They're, they're fine. It's all right. They're gonna be fine. They're old ladies. They're probably arguing over what color yarn they should use today for their knitting. <laughs> so they're knitting. <laughs> it's fine. So, lock in. I just saw a boil. I know, so did I. I don't know what I'm, I think. I want a large mouth. Just get me a large mouth today, trust me. Ooh, just had a bite, guys. Blowing up on it. Fish is blowing up on this. This is from box number one. I haven't switched over to box number two yet. I'm gonna fish them a little bit later. Big Jerk from Bruiser Baits. This thing slays. There it is. <laughs> You're kidding, right? That's a fucking rock, bro. Oh, there it is. Little largy. Crushed it. On the Super Swimmer Junior again. I don't know why, this is like my go-to bait right now. And they love it. So this, this bait specifically came in box number one. Little largey, not the one we're after, we're after a much bigger one. But, you know, decent. For the Super Swimmer Junior, crushed, crushed. I think I'm gonna put on a bait from box number two now though. And uh, out with the old, in with the new, put on a bait from box number two. Largey, this is not the five pounder we're looking for though. Still, first cast at this new spot, this new location. And uh, first couple casts at this new spot, new location. Got myself a largemouth, baby. Let's go. See ya. Right back where I caught him. Later, I need your bigger friend though. Well, ladies and gents, Chris and I did split up a little bit and I just caught this beautiful peacock right here on a shiner from the vending machine right there. And let me tell you what, hey. let me tell you what, this one right here is absolutely freaking beautiful. Check out the hump on that fish. Ooh buddy that is a good one all right we're gonna get a little weight on this guy let's see how big he is uh, I don't think that's gonna be correct no 1.18 oh that's kilograms y'all my apologies all right we'll put it on the board put it on the board that's probably like a two or three pounder there you go buddy see you later so Chris is literally way down that way and I'm just camping out right here. I'm gonna wait for him to get back and we're gonna keep catching some fish, baby. Let's do it. Is this not the coolest duck 
you've ever seen in your life. It's like a brown, I'll buy, this one's all white, okay? This one's like a mix, brown, white, albino hybrid. That's sick. Is he stretching? That was a good stretch. Go pet it. A uh, couple likes on this video, I'll take like two or three likes on this video and we'll get uh, ducks with a coop. That would be electric. I already have a pet duck at my house, but he's a wild pet duck. These guys, look at how cute this white one is, bro. Look at that. I love the three different colors of duck right there. That's epic. Drop a like on this video. I want to get a duck. Hey, guys. Some food. Will they eat live shiners? What? Will they eat a shiner? I have no idea. I'm about to catch a, I'm about to catch a fish though. What the heck did I just pull up off the ground? They're right next to us and they're so cute. They're freaking hugging each other. The white one's sleeping. The three best friends that anyone could have. Just a tip guys, there's a gator living in this lake. So keep your eyes peeled. Why is he obsessed with us? Look how close he is to me. What is he doing? He's going in the bag. He wants to look into the bag. What is he doing? He wants to maybe fish. These are the chillest ducks ever. He's looking at the mystery box. I love these ducks. Okay, hold on. Try to eat that. They just ate a live shot. Good job, buddy. Great job. It. Get out of here. No! Live shiner. I don't want him to leave. Great ducks. I need one. I need one. They like fish. Let them eat fish. They like fish for sure. Oh, oh my God, Jack. How did he? Circle hook. Circle hook and live bait. Got a J hook. Missed way too many fish. It's all right. He's still right there. Yeah, peacock's right there. That's the thing about live bait fishing. You throw it out, you wait, see if it bites. At least when you're fishing lures, you're active. It's a lot more fun, but get the job done either way. It's whatever you're feeling that day, you know? Jack, this is a big P right here, dude. Dude, the first one I caught was bigger. I don't know why my scale is in kilograms, literally, by literally way, was, guys. Chris, it literally pulled me into the tunnel. Like, I almost didn't get him out. That's literally. How big it was? Yeah, it was big. It how was many kilograms Almost 1.16. Okay, so what's that in pounds? Like, almost four pounds. Okay, that's good fish. Yeah. Here he comes, here he comes, he's on it. Here he comes, see it? Not really. Come on, stand up, bro, it's clear as day. Oh. He's being a wuss, he doesn't want the live bait. Yeah, he does. Go on. Oh, yes. let's go. Little Bigger or smaller? Room. Smaller. Man. Yeah? We'll see. Does he beat the 1.16? Does he beat the 1.16? No, nah, he's, uh, he's actually pretty good size, bro. Let's see, I don't know how to, if anyone knows in the comments, let me know how to change this thing back into pounds. Cause it's stuck at kilograms. So Jack's getting his turn now. We only have, uh, we don't have a camera woman or a man. So we gotta take turns and Jack's up first. I got hook. Nice hook, nice hook. Nice man. Look at the head on that thing, guys. Look at the head. So any giant peacock or bass we're taking home for the pond, but obviously this guy's not gonna be five pounder. Here we go. I don't think he's gonna be bigger than the 1.16. The first one I caught was nice, bro. Okay. Oh, Jesus, look at the ducks. The ducks wanna see what's going on. I love these ducks. I love these ducks so much. Dude, does this guy not- What do you guys think about the fish, huh? Okay, here we go, Chris. Okay, weigh him up. You tell me. It is a 1.05. Yeah, so the other one was bigger, bro. Still got nice colors on that fish. Look at the pretty, pretty colors. It's like a rainbow, these peacocks. They really are gorgeous. But to be honest, guys, we like catching largemouth way better than peas. That is a vibrant one, dude. That's a nice, nice peacock. Nice, nice uh, thump on him, little hump, I mean. Gorgeous pea right there. Three pounder, right? 1.05? 1.05, yeah. yeah. 1.05 is not a bad fish. Not a bad fish whatsoever. Kilograms. Not, Kilograms, not baby. I want to get it back into, into pounds, though. That's a gorgeous one. Let's get it back in the water. Look at that yellow. So vibrant. Such a gorgeous fish. All right, buddy. See you later. Later, skater. He got me. He's not pond worthy. Nah. We're hunting Nowhere for that pond near. worthy, though. Nowhere near. Hey, ducks. These guys are pond worthy, though. Wish we could build like a cage hey. around the pond and then have ducks hey, in it. Hey, come here. Hi. Hey. Dude, are you serious? I love these ducks, bro. Come here. I think we should put them in the car. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Are these somebody's ducks? I don't know. Aflac. That's Aflac in the middle. Aflac. It's okay. I wonder if these are any good eating. Like, are these park ducks like actually good eating? <sighs> Probably so good. I know. You, I know you go to like people have hunting ducks. Chris, look, hunting dogs for ducks and stuff, but. I mean, they look delicious to me. They man. look good, especially that one. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it to them though. They're nice too... bronze. A nice like chicken breast marshmallow. <laughs> yeah. That's a good eater. Hey, no non-GMOs, organic. Hey, 
Okay, I'm sorry. All right, let's get fishing. Let's go. There's two of them. Chris just spotted a big snakehead. I had to run back to the truck, come on. He just tried to eat me. Pull it through that pocket. He's, he's sitting in that pocket right there. Yeah, rip it through there, rip that shit. You got weed. By the way, guys, we are super, super dumb. You know, we always tell you guys, we're truthful. Me and Jack are one brain cell combined. So we lost our scale somehow. I think we left it at one of the spots. We lost our scale, Jack. Ah, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Listen, hey, the fish guys don't claim to be Albert Einstein and you know, who's another smart guy? Listen up, people. Stephen Hawking, not me. I'm fish guy Chris, that's fish guy Jack. We're down to four shiners in the bucket. Yeah, dude. Always bring a bucket along, transfer them out of the tote into the bucket. That's fish guy 101 rule. Go to yes. the vending machine, you bring a bucket. Yeah, exactly. Down to four. It's hot, we have no scale. So we're gonna have to judge by our eyes if it's a five pounder or not. Let's get, let's get honest here. All right, a little sneak peek, a little sneak peek. I don't wanna spoil everything for box number two for all of our fish guy mystery fishing boxers. Sneak peek, a lot of you guys have been asking for this. In the Facebook group, we got ourselves a fish guy Swifty Swimmer glide bait. This thing is an absolute beast. Look at that color. Hold it up. We wanted something bright for it. And look at that. That thing is glide gangster, bait. bro. It's dope because it has like little magnets on the bottom and you can just snap your hooks on so they're not flinging around, which actually makes it a lot easier. But a lot of you guys wanted a glide bait. People sell these things, like one this size. Like 60. People go for like 30 bucks, 60 bucks. We saw one today, this morning, for $80, a glide bait. But it's on sale for 60 on this website, so I don't know. These guys can go for a lot of money, but... Let's go see if we can catch one on it. Let's see if we can catch one on them. And it's gonna be in our mystery box. Now look at the action on this for everyone who's like, oh, that's a glide bait. This is a damn glide bait. Ready? I'm just yep. gonna flip it out so in the shallow so you guys can see. Oh, <gasps> our buddies are back. The boys are back. The Come on, guys, back. let's go. We Get in the truck. We We're leaving. <laughs> we came back to the spot to try to find our scale and there they are. Hey, guys. We go, when are we leaving? <laughs> Where are we going? Dude, look at what these up, boys? What's up, yeah. boys? Dude, these things actually love us. Dude, should I pet it? Where are we going? Can I hey! He's bit me, he's stepped on me too. Hey, bro, these ducks love us, dude. Let's go, let's go, get him in the truck. <laughs> Come on. Get him in the truck, Let's bro. go, we're going home. Dude, I love these ducks. What up, big guy? That's crazy. Oh my God, that's it. Mom, you're screwed, I'm bringing a duck home. I'm s all three of them, bro. No, oh no man God. left behind, we're taking all three. I'm addicted to these ducks. <laughs> They're so freaking cute, is bro. It, is it allowed to take? Cause let us know in the comments, guys. If we're coming back and we're keeping all three of these guys. I'm gonna put you guys in a coop and you're gonna live in my house. Uh, Chris, we've been filming in camera mode. That's fine. Oh, thank God. It switches to, to movie. I hope you guys are having a good day and you're finding some food. I'm gonna come back. Next time I come back, I'm gonna bring some duck feed and you guys are gonna have a party up in this <laughs> bitch. What friendly ducks. Okay, can I show them how it's yes, now? Yes, please do, they're waiting. They, they want it, they want it. Please, I don't wanna hook you guys. I'm not, this isn't funny. McDonald's, get out. Who's McDonald's? That one. McDonald's. McDonald's, you go and get in the truck. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Get in the damn truck. All right, watch this now. How about pulling it over that? How about it? Dude, look at that thing coming gliding, just like that. That right there, that little wobble drives those big fish freaking crazy. We got our fishing partners here. Look at that bait. Big fish in the yeah, middle. What the? are gonna absolutely smoke that. It's just very slow and it's gotta be from distance. Yeah, you gotta have a far, but look at that, look at that action. Oh. That's what you want. What the, That's you saw what, that? Yeah, I saw that, that's what you want. The big bass in deep, out deep, love that. They'll come off the bottom and smoke that. So you guys asked for it and we put one in box number two. So that's the only sneak peek you're getting. I'm not gonna spoil the surprise. Dude, Next from box. range, it's ridiculous. Yeah, no, from range, it's, it's insane. You gotta catch- Ronald. Yeah. Keep, keep it quiet. You can cast this thing a mile and it's a beast. Fish alert on the glide bait. Literally just watch this. He came out from the deep and just went after this thing. He literally, oh look, 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 look. There's two of them. Look at him chase it, look at him, look at him. Oh my God, dude, they're big. Dude, that one in the back is it's big. It's huge. That one in the back is big, dude. Dude, they love, this thing, the way it swims drives the fish absolutely crazy. Guys, we're on, on the glide bait right, look at him. Oh my God, he Look at that glide bait that. hanging out of his mouth. He clobbered that. Take it easy, buddy. He clobbered that. It's not the giant one, but it's it was the, the one that was swimming with it. Oh my God. It was the one that was swimming, literally following it down with him. 
We gotta fire this thing back out there soon to get it back up. Uh, There's a giant out there. There's a There's jumbo, There's a five-pound peacock. He got double, oh he got double God, trouble. Oh my God, crushed that. What are you guys thinking? No, no, please don't eat please, the treble buddy. hook. You already tried to eat it once. There we go, there's one. He, they're gonna try to eat the, eat the hook, dude. There's they're two. gonna try to eat the, I'll hold this. There you have it, guys, look at that thing. That is one heck of a lure. I'm not even kidding. Somebody would probably sell that thing for like 40 bucks. Hey, no, do not eat that. There we have it. On the glide bait, that's On our first bait. time using this glide bait. Box two sneak peek, baby. Everyone's Woo! gonna be catching some giants, I guarantee you that. Look at that thing. It's still a good fish, nah, but he's like, two, the other one two, was pounds. double the size of that. Yeah, so, all day. I mean, that's a pond, the one that's out there that's big is pond worthy, like, actually. Five, six pounder. Let's go for him, bro. Let's get him back. Let me throw you past the weeds. Whoa. All right. You good, you right there. Yeah, he's chilling. See him? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta try to get that fiver though. Dude, I know. Let me throw that thing back out there. It's so nice to cast, dude. That you can cast that oh, thing hundred yards. It's a it's a brick. <laughs> Listen, I love these ducks, but they gotta stop. Look, look what the one of the ducks that I had in his mouth that we saved his ass. One of the ducks was eating. This is not ours. This is a random person's old hook with weights on it. We don't obviously don't do split shots right there, but he, the duck was eating this with a hook in it, with weights, with line. That would have been bad. But guess what? The fish guys are here to save the day. You guys all right back there? What are they eating now? Mulch. Ah. Listen, that can only do so much. Next cast on the glide. Oh, oh he just flew off. Show him too. Watch hey, the ducks. Watch the ducks. McDonald's. Oh my God. Bro, why, there, there's a school of them over there. They just blew it up on the top of the water. Oh my God, bro. You saw you that? jumped it. I watch this, I watch this, camera. watch this. No, I threw that it right on the lily. Next cast over, guys. Watch this. He, he blew it up four times. You think there's, there's a school of them over there? I don't know, bro. It was every... <sighs> It wasn't the jumbo. Dude, it's so much more rewarding catching not on live bait, guys. I'm sorry. The vending machine, it's a loser today. Trust me. It's got to be that It's just pace. so sick seeing that thing glide and then they clobber it, bro. That thing crushed it. I wish I got to eat on camera. Dude, the, the way it swims and just glides like that, the, it drives them nuts. No joke. Hopefully we can get back in that school. Because that school is where that big one was hanging out. He was, the big one was hanging out with like two or three other peacocks. Catching that other one probably drew, drew them back in and now we gotta try to find the other ones again. Cause that's a pond worthy fish, that's a fiver. That's a fiver all day. Jack's on a mission right now with that glide bait. He stole my rod by the way. He stole my rod and he's fishing with the glide bait. That's fine, we want the five pounder. And you guys Dude, this thing is so fun to fish. Annoying. You guys are eating out, eat, trying to eat the hooks. You know, I wanted you guys as pets before but now I think it's gonna take some work. There's three of them. They're all chasing my bait. There's a big one, dude. There's a big one. They all just chase this thing. Dude, that's the one. That's the one. Get, I don't know if that's the one. I'm tip wrapped. It's a constant struggle, man. This guy's serious struggle bus. Listen, if there's a, a serious fish, don't even let this guy make it. No, I, I told you. I told it's you. It's going to be 30 seconds. The fish will be gone. This guy's a struggle bus king. Oh my tip wrap king. Whenever, whenever it's. Look at that fish. Look at oh those fish. Oh my God, bro. Look at those fish. Got him. Fish on. Nice bee. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Right there on that big jerk. Bruiser baits big jerk right there. Got it done. Well, we switched over. Both of us using the mystery box. Let's go, baby. We got baby. an absolute stud. That's a nice one. He ate it twice. There was, or He ate it one time. Largemouth bass came out, ate it. He was much smaller. He had it in his mouth. I didn't even set the hook because I saw how much bigger this fish was. Right there, the bruiser baits. Big jerk inside the mystery box. Vector hook, 5-0. Beautiful fish. There you have it right there. Beautiful peacock. There's definitely a much bigger one that was around that followed up uh, the fish guy, Swifty Swimmer, but couldn't get him to commit. Still a gorgeous fish. Let's get him back. Goodbye, buddy. Still looking for that five ten pounder, dude. Look at that. So graceful. There's another one right there. Five ten pounder, bro. That's what's gonna happen right now. So right here is the exact bait I used to catch that peacock. This is the Bruiser Baits Big Jerk right here, and they absolutely love this thing. There's a few of them around here. I know there's still some that are uh, definitely looking to eat, so I'm gonna keep this thing out there. Just twitch it the way we like it. Should be able to catch another one quite quickly. Come on, ten pounder. Come on, 10 pounder. Oh, largey, largey. Came out from underneath those pads. 
Little largey. Little largey. Nice, not a bad one. Ain't a bad fish right there. Fish number two on the big jerk. We switched it up, especially once this light came down a little bit. These fish really started to come out and start eating. It's great to see largemouth bass out here. That is Dude, for I dang catch a sure. 10 largemouth bass. I know, bass. this one's like Ten literally pounder. maybe a pound. Right around a pound, but I love a large bunch mouth. of freaking parasites on him. Look at this. See this little thing right here? Does he? Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, he's got he's got the rights. Disgusting. This he's got the sights. Yeah. All right. Largemouth bass, baby. Big jerk, bruiser bait. See ya. We're starting to crush him now with yeah, the. Yeah, they're starting uh, to really rocks. eat, bro. They're starting to really eat. Found our scale, guys. Found our scale, so now we can weigh some fish. A plus. Thank God it's still here. Now with this thing right here. First of all, every single cast, it fires them up. Like even the small ones. But with this guy, I feel like you're gonna catch giants with this. No, that's like a This is a killer. big bait. So if, if a big fish sees it, but every time I throw it out, there's there's little guys coming chasing it and that's gonna fire up the big ones if there's a big one around. Also, when Fish Guy Chris has this lure, you need to practice social distancing, Jack. I know. Think Believe me, why do you think I've been about 50 yards from I it? will literally take your head off with this lure. I've already, I've already almost cut down this oak tree here with it because I got stuck in there and then, you know, I had to rip it off, almost took down the oak tree like a Category 5 hurricane. <laughs> this is a dangerous weapon. This looks good, dude. No, there's bass right here. You can probably catch them. Yeah, I'm gonna get my bait. Yeah, get That's it. such a good bait. Oh, guys, I'm telling you, the way that lure swims, it's very out of the ordinary. It's very slow and it kind of just moves like this, but it drives the fish nuts. Bro, what the f is that? Oh my God, it's gonna eat, it's gonna eat, it's gonna eat, it's gonna eat, it's gonna eat. Guys, there's something wicked large. Like, I'm talking boils like I've never seen so big in the lake. It's followed my bait in every single time. I got him. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's a pee. It's a pee. Holy cow. No, this definitely isn't the one that I saw. Holy dear Lord. That right there is the third peacock, all on the same exact bait right there. You got another one? The bruiser bait's big jerk, yep, right here. I had a huge blow up on this. Dude, I've had so many big blow ups right here. I'm gonna I've get this guy back in the water, but that's a beautiful, absolute stunning uh, peacock bass right there. But there's some serious activity going on right here in the vicinity. We gotta figure it out. What a long day. We, uh, it is six o'clock, we're ending our day here. Ugh. So, once we switched to the um, not live bait, we, I think we did a little bit better. We cut like three fish to end it right there. Yeah, literally like within I had like within four. Like, within like 30 minutes, we our caught all Our bigger ones actually, our bigger ones were with the mystery box. So, we, we, did good, we did an okay job. We're still hunting for the five pounder. That's the end game. The end game is hunting for the five to 10 pounder. We lost our scale. God, I forgot news. about that. Yep, we lost our scale, so that's gone. Hopefully we'll get another one uh, soon here. That and then, sucks. Then we can actually actually hunt for the five pounder, because right now we can't weigh anything to see if it's even good. We did see that big, big largey right there before I we saw left. a big large off, right when I, we were leaving right there, I just wanted to stop at this one more spot. I saw, a, it was, a really big largemouth. So uh, that's a good sign. We're coming back to hunt him. We saw that five pound peacock, guaranteed five pounder. We're gonna oh, come back 100%. to 100%. Those are the fish we want in the pond. So Excuse that's me. what we're hunting for. Thank you guys so much for watching. Continue on with the series, the five pound plus series to add to the pond. Lock in. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Later. Later.